So now we've added a brand new product to our e-commerce store. But a colleague of mine has told me that there's a problem with a product that's already on the website. So we'll need to fix that. Before we do though, let's take a look at what exactly is wrong with the product that's not right. So let's head to shop and my colleagues told me that it's the Alpine Shaggy Circles Black which needs attention. Ah, I see the problem. It looks like the description hasn't quite been finished and someone seems to be having a joke with the material as well. So that'll need fixing. So in Administrator, let's have a look at the products. Now in our list of products, I can find the Alpine Shaggy Circles Black and hovering over this row in the table brings me a couple of different options. So let's take a look at what they are now. I can obviously edit the product, which is what I'll want to do, but I can also create a new product from this. So basically what this means is that it will take all the information about Alpine Shaggy Circles Black, the description, the image, the cleaning materials, absolutely everything that is on this product and it'll basically just create a straight duplication of it. So this will be useful if you've got two products or more which are very very similar but maybe there's only one word or two words in the description that need to change. Rather than creating an entirely new product all the way from scratch, you can quickly duplicate a product and then just change the bits that you need to change. Obviously I can delete a product or I can categorize it. I can also change the stock control. So let's say for example, there's no more of this product in stock. I can really quickly by clicking stock control, make it unavailable. And I can also add different SKUs, so different um, product numbers and different stock levels per each combination. Obviously before that can happen though, I need to enable stock control. So clicking enable stock control will allow you to change all the different, different options that you can on a product when it comes to altering different factory and stock levels. And finally I can view the product which will just take me to the products page on the main website. But for the time being, let's just edit the product. And here we can see that the description hasn't been finished off. So my colleague has sent me the proper description, so I'll copy and paste that in there. And then the material needs to be heat set polypropylene rather than 100% Yeti. So let's copy that in there. Now everything else is fine, however my colleagues told me that it's also incorrectly categorised. So obviously this is a rug, however at the minute it's being classified as a carpet. We'll need to change that, so let me choose the new category, which is apparently an Indian rug. So products, rugs, and Indian. I'll add it to that collection, and I'll delete it from the Victoria Carpets collection by just clicking the X to the left of this category. And now I can go back to the listing to save everything. Let's take a look at the revised listing then. And you can see the description has been fixed, as has the material, and it no longer appears as a carpet, but it does appear as a rug, which is exactly what we wanted.